Good morning. I am getting ready to go to Pilates. I'm very sleepy this morning. <laughs> very sleepy this morning. I'm enjoying some coffee, trying to like snap out of it. I think it's my allergies because I've been sleeping through the night. Uh, quick update on that because I, I think the last time I addressed this, I was talking about those perimenopause supplements that I got from Amazon, which worked wonders. So I was taking two before I went to bed every night and it like really knocked me out, but I was starting to wake up really groggy and I thought, Are, is it these supplements? <laughs> so I went down to one um, before I went to sleep working still. So I was like, okay, I'll just do one. And now I'm just taking them like one every other night. So I don't know if it's something that builds up in your system. Probably, I guess that makes sense. But I am so just continue to be pleasantly surprised by the effectiveness of those supplements. Just incredible. I don't know if you guys um, decided to try them, if you've experienced the same issues that I have, um, if they've worked for you. I'm, I, I would be so happy if they worked for you, basically. It's trying to, what I'm trying to say. Anyway, <laughs> so I've got Pilates this morning and I am leaving for New York tomorrow. I think I do this to you guys quite... God, look at my hair. I think I do this to you guys quite a bit. I... Um, we'll just spring, I, or at least I've seen a few comments like this that I spring, uh, these trips on you like, oh my God, you didn't mention you were going or like, wow. And it's because I book the trip and then I don't think about it until like literally the day before <laughs> I just am like going, going, going. And then I'm like, oh, I got to pack. And then that's when I actually start thinking about it. So I have to pack today and I am leaving bright and early tomorrow and getting in around like 3 p.m. As you guys know, I usually stay at my friend's apartment down in Tribeca. Oh my gosh, Whew. allergies. I usually stay at my friend's apartment down in Tribeca or I'll go to my friend, my other friend's uh, lake house, which is outside the city. But uh, this time I'm staying at um, a hotel around Madison Park. So I'm really excited for that. Of course, I'll vlog and take you along with me. I love doing like quick hotel room tours. Um, but that's what I'm doing. I'm going to be staying for about five, five nights. And another reason why this trip crept up on me is I usually, when I go to New York, if it's not for any particular reason or whatever, which this trip isn't, I'm just, I need to get my fix. I need to get back home and get my New York fix. I usually go from Thursday to Monday because traveling on Friday, Saturday, Sunday is usually more expensive, uh, the plane tickets and the hotel rooms. So um, I usually just go Thursday to Monday and just try and make it a little bit cheaper that way. Um, but for some reason, this time I'm going Wednesday to Monday. And I think it's because, I can't remember if it was, it must have been for a plane ticket. Maybe it was a little bit cheaper or maybe they just didn't have seats. I mean, it's been really, really crazy <laughs> traveling this year so far. Just, it's always been like every flight I've been on has been packed and the airport's been packed. And uh, I was just checking out the weather. It looks like it's gonna be beautiful. Like sunny, it, of course it's New York, so it could change on a dime, but um, it looks like it's gonna be sunny and in the mid high, in the mid seventies. So I could be going at the perfect time. I really hope so. <laughs> you really don't wanna experience and be traipsing around New York when it's either too cold or too hot or too humid or too wet. Yeah, and I've got some fun things like planned already and you know, meeting up with a bunch of friends and friends that you've seen so you'll see them again. And I'm really excited. But for now, I'm gonna head on out to Pilates and then I've got a couple of things to show you when I get back and then we'll pack. Wow, the wind just picked up like crazy. It's supposed to start storming here. I actually just missed a really wild, oh, here comes a wild gust. But, oof. Yeah, the sky is starting to fall. Wow, we were supposed to get thunderstorms yesterday. It got cloudy, but nothing here. I think it stormed elsewhere. But I think it's definitely gonna storm over us today. Oof. I am about to put on some makeup. I'm about to film a video, which you will have seen. Why is my camera so crooked? Hang on. There we go. That is better. So I decided to let my hair air dry today. It has like more body than usual, but it does look a little fuzzy at the ends. I put a little bit of oil in, but I kind of like it. I kind of like it air dried. 
And I can do this, I feel like, when I use my Orbe shampoo that I love. It is the... Wow, I love it so much I forgot the name. It is... <laughs> it's for body, basically. Whatever, I'm not gonna bore you with the details, but I decided to use that shampoo today, and when I air dry my hair with that shampoo and conditioner combo, so good. There's a lot of other ones that I feel like my hair will like look kind of like flat and greasy if I don't actually blow it dry, but yeah, this is a good one. Okay, makeup, makeup, makeup. What am I doing today? What am I filming today? Okay, I'm gonna do a light look. Okay, so I'm gonna stick with my Makeup Forever um, cream palette here. And of the lightest shade, oh, do you hear that humming? That's my air conditioner, sorry. Okay, I just turned off the AC. That was way too loud. It's like I think I'm not used to the AC again. I've had it running now for a few days. All right, I'm going into this shade to layer on top. That's how I like to use this palette, at least for the under eye area. I'll put a little bit of this down first and then I'll put this on top. And I've tried, so interesting, it's like I've tried just mixing those two colors and doing it, and it doesn't look the same. It's like I have to layer them. So yeah, so I spread out the light shade and then I'll go in with the deeper shade on top. Oh, hi, Butters. All right, I'm gonna go in with my Armani Beauty Luminous Silk Glow Blush in the shade number 30. So funny, I thought I was gonna like the pinker shades more, and maybe, it, and it's not like I don't like them, but it's this shade that I've been reaching for a lot, and I don't know why. I really don't know why. But this one has been the mood that I have been in, and yeah, today was not a full face of foundation. I just put on that Makeup Forever, and now just throwing on this blush. We're doing something very natural, very subtle, very minimal. This is such a beautiful shade that when I apply this, I feel like I'm applying uh, like a blush that has more red in it. It just reads a little bit more red on my cheeks. Maybe that's why I've been going for it. It doesn't seem too warm or too orangey or too peachy. I've got my Hermes bronzer. I don't know why I'm going in this order. I, I've been like doing my makeup in a different order almost every time I'm doing my makeup now, and I don't really know why, because I've always been someone <laughs> that's done it in the same order, I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna throw a bronzer on, and I'm just picking up from the whole pan, and just kind of dusting this all over. This is a very light shade, this is number one. Oh, that's better. I had to turn on another light in here, it was like, kind of dim and I think because that storm is rolling in it's just getting darker and darker in here. I have been loving the Vive 90s palette. I think I'm just gonna go into one of the shimmer shades and just put that all over my lid. I'm thinking either acid wash or dial up. I haven't used dial up yet so I'm gonna go for this one. That's pretty. It's like highlighter for my eyes. I don't think I'm gonna pack this to go to New York. It's just a little, it's a little big and I'm afraid it's gonna break and I think I'm gonna miss it. I've really been just reaching for this palette lately. It's been fantastic. Just gonna curl my lashes, throw on some of the Lancome Lash Idol waterproof. Oh, I just got a chunk of it on my lid. Oof. And I'm gonna throw on the Hourglass Foyer Eyeliner in Cave. I'm surprised I'm not done with this eyeliner. I use this almost every single time I apply makeup. Persona Swipe Up Brow Gel. Okay, I feel like doing something bright for my lips because everything else I have on is pretty, pretty minimal. So I'm gonna throw on this Tom Ford Carnal Red Liquid Lip Luxe Matte Lipstick. I got this during the Sephora sale. All right, there is my look for today. I'm wondering if this eyeshadow is just a little bit too pale and I need a little something. Yeah, let me go into phase and maybe low rise and add that to my outer corner. Just, just a little something. I'm feeling like it looks a little unfinished. All right, yeah, just a little bit of dimension there I think helped a little bit there. Okay, all right. We are done with my makeup for today, so I'm gonna go ahead and film a video and then I will be back to pack. I really, I really am pushing it to the last minute here. <laughs> am I recording? Okay, finally. I don't know what I was doing before, but I thought I was recording and I wasn't. 
anyway, <laughs> Mercury is not in retrograde anymore, so I don't know what's going on, but it's still a struggle. Okay, so I have just finished filming, uh, and so now I can start packing, which I really need to do because I'm realizing I have a lot more tech than I need to pack. I did also just get, and I've been fighting this, but I did just get the AirPod Max headphones. These are great. I have these Beats, and do you see how much smaller the ear cuffs are, these ear I don't, cushions? And so they're fine because they sit on top of your ear and they're soft, but after a while, it's like, you know when we were wearing the face masks, and it was just that little elastic band over your ear, but after a while it would feel like it was cutting your ear off of your head and giving you a migraine? That's how those headphones feel <laughs> after a while. The cushions on these are so big, they like go over your, like around your ear, and it's so much more comfortable. I mean, they're giant, <laughs> but they're so much more comfortable. Anyway, I just have a lot of tech that I need to pack, makeup. I'm gonna bring very minimal makeup, but I am gonna bring some, of course. My skincare always takes up a huge chunk of uh, suitcase space. So I also need to check the weather before I start packing clothing because I was automatically gonna start packing, um, you know, the, the stuff that I've been wearing, but I'm like, it's actually not, obviously not as hot in New York as it is here right now. Like it's getting into the 90s now. So anyway, I've got, I've got a lot of packing ahead of me. <laughs> Okay, I'm taking a break from packing. I am not a fan of packing. I thought I would take a break and do a quick little PR haul because I just got a couple things in and I had done a PR haul when I was still playing around with my microphone and all of that footage was, was shoddy. So basically gonna do that again. So all of that is already unboxed, but let me go to this new one that just came in from Laura Mercier. Nice, big, beautiful box here. Ooh, bath and body collection. What? Yes. Ah, I see, it's a new scent, Neroli du Sud. There is a bunch of products. A serum body cream. Ooh, an eau de parfum. I'm gonna open this up and see what, well, smell what this Neroli de Sud smells like. Ooh, fresh, yes. Ooh, fresh, light, crisp, very, very nice. And this is an EDP, lovely. Let's see what else is in here. We've got an aromatic bath and body oil. We have a souffle hand cream. And then we have, oh my God, an exfoliating body wash. The timing could not be any better because I just finished up my Tatcha Hinoki exfoliating body wash and I was in the shower this morning like just squeezing that poor tube. And I was like, Michelle, give it up. So wow, perfect, perfect timing. Awesome, thank you so, so much, Laura Mercier. This is so exciting. All right, and let's head on over to the butler's pantry. So I got a couple things from Thrive Cosmetics, the Liquid Lash Volumizer Mascara and, oh, two of them. I think one is like a travel size and one is the regular size. Big thank you to Thrive Cosmetics for that. And then I got a box from Supergoop, which I did open already. This is basically a re-up on a bunch of their SPF. Perfect timing because it is now broiling hot in Vegas. The sun feels like it's literally cooking you when you go outside. So they sent the Every Single Face Watery Lotion SPF 50. I don't think I've ever tried this. This is chemical sunscreen. They also sent their Glow Stick SPF 50 chemical sunscreen. I wonder if this is like the Shiseido one where I can put it on like over makeup. We'll have to test that one out. The Unseen Sunscreen and Super Goop Play SPF 50. This is my husband's favorite. And they also sent, oh wow, they sent a baseball hat and uh, a tote bag. Oh cute, it says SPF on the back, aw. Thank you, Super Goop. And I got this from Kiehl's. This was for Mother's Day and it includes these four products. Let me take them out. Look at this cool bag. Oh, that's 
crunchy. Ooh, more SPF. Super Fluid Daily UV Defense SPF 50. Ooh, a retinol serum. Powerful strength line reducing concentrate. And then their Clearly Corrective Dark Spot Solution. This is awesome. And they do have this coupon code. I actually put this on, I think, either my YouTube community tab or my Instagram stories or both, but MDAY25 will get you 25% off through May 31st. So they extended it way past Mother's Day, which is really great. Thank you so, so much, Kiehl's. And then Dr. Jart sent me their BB Premium Beauty Balm. And they actually sent me, I believe, all four of their shades. And I gave the two deeper shades to my assistant because she has a deeper skin tone than I do. And she is loving it. The next time she's here and she has it on, I will show you guys. Um, but I held on to Fair Light and Light Medium Medium. And I think the one that works like perfectly on her skin, I think is just medium. And then they also sent over the Every Sunday SPF 50. Wow, I have a lot of SPF. I think I'm I think I'm good for this summer. But a big thank you to Dr. Jart for all the goodies. And then Makeup Forever sent their new HD Skin Twist and Light 24 Hour Luminous Finishing Powder. Well, I am intrigued because you guys know how much I love that HD Skin like cream palette. I love it. So I'm like really, really, really interested in this whole like HD line. Oh, they sent over one of their brushes. Nice, one of their powder brushes. It all came in this beautiful makeup case and they sent over medium and light. So I just opened up the light because I think that's probably what is gonna work best for me. I think, I think I opened this upside down. Is that possible? So I'm twisting the bottom and I don't know, Maybe mine is stuck or you just kind of go back and forth. There is powder coming out and it is really, really glittery. It looks really glittery. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if you guys can see that. Probably not, but take my word for it. There are little micro glitters in there. Oh wow, I don't know if this is for me. <laughs> so luminous finishing powder. Wow, they were not kidding. I'm definitely gonna have to try this in a trying new makeup video. I'm so curious if I can like buff away the micro glitter. Thank you so, so much, Makeup Forever. And then I got this really cool case from YSL. They extended their line of shades. They extended their shades for their bold lipstick. And I actually did put this up on my Instagram reels, but this is a new one. This one is Nude Era number 13, that is number 13. And then number 14, they have down as new champion, but I remember when I was looking on Sephora, number 14 had a different name, but it is number 14. So here is that shade, it's a little bit deeper. Number 14, and then number 168, which is called Nude Statement. And then these two are not new, this number 10 and number 12, those were existing. So anyway, huge thank you to YSL Beauty, these are gorgeous. And then Holy Frog sent over their SPF 30. This is their daily mineral sunscreen, SPF 30. Here is the happy tube from Holy Frog. I love all of their packaging. It's always so fun. A big thank you to them for sending this over. And then this company sent me some skincare. I've never heard of them, Mother Science. And they sent over their Molecular Hero Serum. And it has this ingredient in there, Mala, Mala Sezen. <laughs> completely mispronounced. But here is the packaging. Very cool, right? It's very heavy. So that uh, ingredient that I can't pronounce, mala sezin, is a naturally occurring molecule found on skin. Through biotechnology, we recreated it and are the first to use it in skincare. All right, there's some pictures, before and afters. Very lovely. Big thank you to Mother Science for sending that over. And then I got a big, big box of stuff from Filorga. Again, don't know if I'm mispronouncing that, but um, I've seen this brand, I think I'm like Derm Store or something. Anyway, uh, they sent over that mask. They sent over some like moisturizers. Here's a cream, an eye cream, a serum. Ooh, and a lip balm. Awesome. Thank you so much, Filorga. And I apologize if I'm mispronouncing the company name. And this beautiful vanity came. This is Cosme Tips, which is a company I've never heard of, but they have collaborated with Andrea Ali, who is here on YouTube. 
I have, I have such a girl crush on her. She is so beautiful. She is so elegant. She's a makeup artist. She is so talented. I love her channel. I love her content, everything. Um, and they sent this over. So it's full of a lot of Andrea's favorite things. And oh, here's a picture of her. Hang on. Look at this gorgeous woman. She not just so, so beautiful. So the total value of this is 375 pounds, but you can purchase it for 115 pounds. So it's nearly 70% off all of these products. Oh, look at her here again. Oh my God, just gorgeous. So there's a nice little cosmetics bag in there from Cosme Tips. Oh, there's something in here, hold on. Oh, we have some refer brushes, of course, favorites favorites right there. And we have the Eve Loam Rescue Mask. We have a mascara from Swede. We have this Ola Henriksen uh, Dark Spot Toner. Oh, we have Kitten Mischief from Lisa Eldridge. Very exciting. Uh, we have this Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm from Rare Beauty. We have the ABH Soft Glam Palette. I mean, this is such a staple. And then we have the Shiseido Synchro Skin Soft Blurring Primer. Wow, what a selection of hair. Oh wait, there's one more thing in here. From Emica, Intense Bond Repair Mask for your hair. Oh, this is so awesome. Thank you so, so much to Andrea and Cosme Tips. This is really cool and this Vanity is so beautiful. It's like black velvet, very chic. And then Rose Ink sent me this lip treatment. It's a hydrating balm. Let's take a look at this. Here's the tube packaging, and I wonder if it's one of those squeezy tip. Yeah, it's one of those squeezy tip dispensers. Big thank you to Rose Ink for this. Can't wait to try that. And then I got a huge box from Shiseido and Clay de Poe, and it is just, wow, just chock full of amazing, amazing stuff. And I think I also, yeah, I had a, a, another box from Clay de Poe with a bunch of their Synactive skincare line. I think that was part of the footage that was ruined also, but I brought all that stuff up already and I've been using it. It is glorious. The Synactive night cream, Holy cow, I feel like I wake up with brand new skin. It's pretty amazing. Anyway, we'll save that for another video, but they sent over, oh my God. They sent over two of their clear sunscreen sticks because I was talking about the pains that I had reapplying sunscreen during the day because that's something you have to do. And they're like, oh, we'll just use the clear sunscreen stick. It just glides on over makeup. And I was like, what? I already have one that's uh, in use and now I have two backups, which is incredible. They sent me the Precious Gold Vitality Mask. This is a beautiful mask. I love it and it's gold. So you look like Goldfinger when you put it on. Oh, the Synactive Soap. Oh, a re-up on my favorite SPF, which is their UV Protective Cream. I have, oh, Shiseido SPF. This is their Urban Environment SPF 42. This is, oh, this is the new one, the Fresh Moisture Hyaluronic Acid SPF. Amazing. And then, oh my God, the Synactive Neck and Décolleté Cream. And, oh, the Synactive Rose Synactive. This is their EDP. This is their Eau de Parfum. I did not realize that they had a perfume. I think this is the only one because the rose that Clé de Poe uses in the ingredients and in their fragrance is proprietary to Clé de Poe. It was created for them, this actual rose. So they're very proud of this and I cannot wait to try that. The Synactive Eye Cream, I cannot wait to try that. Uh, the Clé de Poe Lip Serum, I have one, I'm using it, it's delightful. And then the Protective Lip Treatment SPF 25, which I always have in my purse. And that is it, wow. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the whole Shiseido Clé de Poe team, that's Incredible. Okay, I've got lots to clean up now and I need to get back to packing. Oh, it's just about five o'clock. I probably should start dinner. I should do that and maybe just pack after dinner. I'm not good. I'm not good after dinner, but I think, I think that has to be the plan. All right, I'll be back in a jiff. You guys, I completely lost steam. I didn't make dinner. I defrosted some meat. I put it back in the fridge. <laughs> so we just ordered sushi. So that's what I'm having my last night here in Vegas before I go to New York is some sushi.
Okay, I ate sushi, I'm caught up on succession, I'm caught up on Ted Lasso, I've procrastinated enough, I'm going to finish packing right now. Well, that's all the packing I could do tonight. I was actually debating whether or not I should um, start my New York journey at the end of this vlog, but I think I'm just gonna end this vlog here and then we'll have a fresh vlog starting in New York. I may have one or two vlogs from New York. So that's it. I will see you guys in my next vlog on my way to New York. Butters? Butters, are you gonna miss mommy? Are you, are you gonna miss mommy, baby?